ladies, gentlemen, let the show begin. All right, do you like video games? And I know you do. What about entertainment? We got that to video game. I'm not a video game. Video game. Oh, what's the name? Video game Armada. This is Wantron, the Gamer Boss Bronze. And this is so sad and reluctant because we're on the last installment <laughs> of this particular version of Game of Thrones. I know, but think blue. of it. Blue. <laughs> I'm blue. I know you look blue too. Blue. But don't even worry about it. We still got five more episodes to go. I mean, not right away, oh. but you know. In, in the future, so don't future? don't be too crestfallen. It will, it will be here before you know it. You sure? Yes. But for, now, for le now, let's go back to where we last left off. Blue sent some thief to the wall to fight White Walkers, and now he's got to decide what's going to be his next super advisor to help him rule the kingdom. Yes. So, choose wisely. Yes. And people at home, welcome back. Yay! Let's continue on. All right, we gotta look at dots. Let's look at some dots. I'll look at the dots. Do 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 do. All right, we just got done talking with this guy, but uh, let's go talk to him some more. Why the heck not? Let's look at it. Let's look at him first. You know, the art style is pretty good. You know, everything's got like a watermark look. You know. Right. Yeah, let's, let's talk yes, some more. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What's your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly Which put one? a price on your own life, or the lives of Be those you love. A sensible plan, Maester. It may come to that. I am glad to hear your mind is open to possibility. Alright. Let's go to the tower. Flash right. Let's see if anyone's up there. I mean, we just left there, but hey. Our back was turned, so we might have just sneaked up there and all that. You might see what's going on with that dude I sent to the wall. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got our our small training pit. It's so precious, but so it, so so ineffective. But it's ours, so you know. We got the castle gates over here, or is this the outer wall gates? I forget. No, that's the castle gates. And we got some two guys just Do talking, like just baby. doing nothing, and uh, some trees. These are probably not ironwood trees, but uh, it's all right. And that's pretty much all we have in this small little bird. Let's get the heck out. We got business. There's a dot still. What's a dot? That just means go back oh, to the, the tower. tower. Got it. Do 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 I can't now run in this game, run in this game, run in this game, run in this game. I'm really, really, really. Look at what am I looking at? Slow. Making me dizzy. I couldn't help it. All right, let's look at this food. Yeah, let's look at this food. Yeah, it doesn't look like much like food. Bacon. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. Big roast. Still reminds me of that. Which one? Just to be sure. How long will this last? How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. Which one? The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Now we can talk to this guy, but we can still look around. Let's let's look at him I first. I still want to talk to him because I really want to. 
consider him. Yeah, but we, we could do that after we look around some more. We just talked to him about the food, which looks like a flayed man now. Weird. Um, but, you know, we, once we start talking with him, we may not be able to stop, see? Okay. And there it goes. All right, this is, or, well, let's talk to this guy. I don't think we talked to him yet. Do you remember? I don't remember him. No. I think he's that thing we read in the codex. So let's yeah, let's get acquainted with Mr. Malcolm over here. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be up tomorrow. Which one? At first light. Hey. Wait, Uncle. Yeah. You can't leave. We need you here. Especially now. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with her. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. X. Okay. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye. Sir Royland is the hey. man you want. You're right. Sir Royland seems the man for the job. Now, you know, I we think that's the... You need uh, a warrior angry guy. by your side. No, he's not. Royland has no, the respect because he's saying he's not going to be the right man for the job. He's telling him house. that. Oh, Duncan okay. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. And this is the sister. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to leave. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Me? I... I wish Father were here. We all do, but Father is gone. You are the Lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Alright, that's nice. Yeah, now go talk to the other dude. Alright. I guess that's all we Roy, can do. No, he's over, but yeah. Yeah, I know. He's the only one left. I was just making sure there was nothing else to interact with. Yeah, I'm glad we talked to Malcolm, though, no, because yep. um, that would have been a disappointment for him to disappear. Yeah. We don't even get to know Mom did that. Exactly. Anything over here? But Telltale Games, there's always little secrets, so you always got to make sure you check everything. Unfortunately, my controller's been acted up lately. Can hardly move right anymore. Oh, there's one by the front door. Good eyes. The portcullis. So that's what they, they call this gate thing. Come on, you dogs. Look, what did you see? Just outside. Hey, there's someone down here. Kid. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the little brother. Yeah. Look at. Ryan. 
Oh, it looks like he's ready. What's this? What's <laughs> little needle. I know, right? Hey, he's getting ready. Careful. That's good for him. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, hey. you know, don't you? I'm honored. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he... our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Ex Enemies. <laughs> Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Yeah, There's well. a dot right there on that shield, too. Just be careful, kid. Don't talk to any many faces persons, because we already got one of those little, little brat psychos flying around. Don't need another one. Or do we? I don't know. Game of Thrones is weird. Yep, we went full circle here. Now let's so, go talk to Sir Roy. Okay. See, I can move left fine, but going, going right, kind of a chore. Oh, okay. But I'm hopefully, cross my fingers, I have enough money to buy the new X1, what, Xbox One X, so uh, this won't be an issue any longer. Come on, come on, Take what did I say? this guy. Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Which one? How are our defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Do it like you mean it. Alright. And let's go talk to the other guy. He was contestant number one. Let's go to contestant number two. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider. You face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. X. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Which one? B. What do you think of Sir Roiland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my Lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed. And at the worst possible time. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. All right. Now, before we give it to Duncan, because that's who you're aiming for, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk to this guy one more time, because I think he had Maester. one. Maester. Yeah, one more thing to say. Yep. Okay. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
I'm ready. I thought Very you were well. ready. I will convene the small council at once. You said it. Hey, you said it. I said X, not yet. I thought you were going to say yes. I know. I wanted to see what else he was going to tell me. No, that was it. I don't think it matters anyway. I don't think it matters anyway. Because okay. I, I do know who I'm going to pick. Mm-hmm. sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Eh? B? Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Yeah. Duncan? Duncan. Alright. Are you sure? Yep. No doubt. <laughs> Are you really sure the hot head? Angry? Never a doubt. <laughs> okay. Duncan Tuttle. You will Never be my sentinel. Come on. Anger and hot headedness oh. and ready to stab a guy maybe perfect in Game of Thrones. Lord Ethan <laughs> has made his choice. Uh I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say it's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? Which we one? need to prepare for the worst. B. We can okay. handle Ramsay Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord okay. Ethan deserves okay. to hear from all of us. <laughs> I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to it's... help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Which one? B. Okay. Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? 
Which one? X. X. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. I really wanted to fight. It's careless. I just don't think Can't you see Tuckley steering you wrong? <laughs> That's hey, enough, you can Roy. do what you want. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to I mean, if you wanted to fight, I would have went with the angry Give guy. Me, my lord. But you Who knows? He might have taken the bullet for you. I don't know. House. You're likely to get us all Roger. killed. Roger. Quick. Quick. Be. Not another word. Your Almost even missed our opportunity. Approved. My Press lord. Me. I know you're hungry. <laughs> Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it's settled, is disrespectful. That's the way we know what we forever. must do. He's hot at it. Ramsey Snow I expect nothing less from him. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Hey. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is... volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it... He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger Ex inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I'm sorry, Mother, but I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will Standing not up to your Essos. mother, huh? That's a that dangerous thing, word. let me tell you. you hear me? Woo. I hear you. But this is a mistake. I wish you trusted me with this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Oof. Pretty rough. I made a lot of decisions. You made some decisions, let me tell you. Meanwhile, back here. Even those decisions are sketchy at best. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this? Strange key. Terrell family seal. Ooh, fancy. Let's look at the strange key first. And sure, let's pick it up. No one's watching after all. Uh oh. Da -da -da. What do you think? B. Yeah, because we don't know what it unlocks after all. And we don't know why it's there. Now, what about Terrell's family seal? Examine. That's a seal, all right. Hmm. Now, what do you think about this? B. 
I just can't roll like that. Okay. I know I may have to later. <laughs> uh, you're honest and true blue. That's the name. Marjorie? <laughs> oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day. See? You heard her. You heard her feelings. Sure. <laughs> We've known each other for years. And yet to be treated a? like that. Which one? X. We X are up. friends, Sarah. Truly. Friends trust one another. They don't hold secrets. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Hey. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left X. him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. Uh, it's the coal boy. I hope I didn't frighten you. Which one? X. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful yes. for you. How can I trust you? <laughs> there are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Like ninja. Cersei's big old mountain. He doesn't look that big. Yeah, he's he's big and, and I don't think that's the same guy. I think that's just a world footman or something. Maybe. Not too many people have that that suit of armor. Mm -hmm. Armor. Yeah. And from what I saw of this season, his armor's like black, right? Uh, dark like platinum. Yeah. Where's Sir Royland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. That's one of the I'm reasons why I didn't we've enough send the other dude away. Mm -hmm. Your men stand ready to act if needed. X. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this a lovely pile of Send them dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Not the place I want to be if there was a fire. 
Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my He's lord. A <laughs> is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you. of no. the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Which one? Is he lost? X. Lord Ramsay, shall we begin? We do not wish to waste your time. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> Please. Look at you. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Which one? Don't know hey. what's so special about it. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Uh, hey, Lord Ramsay, are you... We I'm sorry. Like I couldn't make that decision part. really quick. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our <laughs> land, all it. producing tall, strong <laughs> trees. That's I'd like okay. to give your father two of these groves in tribute. Because we can't give away the groves, he remember? Your warden. The North but groves. yours it's is tough. already his. You gotta make a decision. Look at but that. silence is also a valid Lord option. Forrest. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Quick. B. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone B. can say okay. they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. X. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little boy. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was her Forrester Squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your hey. man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a white hill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills done? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. Hey. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? 
or the next 50 generations. The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more A. Trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twin. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. X. I said leave them be. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. A. We get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! 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 What have you done? No! But I don't want a ball. No. No. Oh. 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 trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 I knew you better than Ethan, actually. I, so I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly oh. feel better Ethan. about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bar. Take the boy of your boy. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You promise. But having a sentinel that just keeps your <laughs> keeps your back no. doesn't. Like I said, I, I've watched how this all went down. I'll have to play this one again from scratch. <laughs> I'm gonna make a whole lot of different decisions now. Nope, nope, nope. You gotta keep going forward to the next chapter. You can't influence anything now. But you can watch me play it. I'm gonna make some different choices. A lot of people did pick the peaceful guy. Look what it got them. Look what it got them. Nothing. Oh Your my story God. has just begun. Mm. Next time on Game of Thrones. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming. Blue is not happy. Well, he I knew he can't be trusted. <laughs> Bolton is not a trustworthy guy, but I knew we had a ragtag army. We didn't have anything to fight with. Mm -hmm. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister hmm. asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan, too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Blue. You in a 65 state with Bowen?
I think that was the one squire we helped save in the beginning. See, if Ramsey would have been at the gate, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have did that. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. You're going to have to find out when I play. <laughs> right. True. <laughs> wow. Disappointed. Yeah. But then, you know, Game of Thrones. That's, what, never, that's Game of Thrones. Never saw Nis start getting killed. Never. Mm -hmm. Never, never, never. But it, it happened. Mm -hmm. hmm. Keep going. You still got more to read. I know you're hungry. <laughs> As she eating a chick fil it, as I call it, chick a flicker. Chick a flicker spice with hot pepper jack cheese with bacon. <laughs> mm. Sounds delicious. Continue. Did you read the ball? You got to read it to the people out there. Oh. You and 65.8% stayed with Bowen. You, meaning blue. <laughs> and 37.6% swore loyalty to Marjorie. You and 35.4% sent Eric to the wall. You and 69.1% picked oh. Duncan. See, everyone picked Duncan. He's reasonable. He's smart. He could come up with a plan until you get stabbed in the throat. <laughs> then you really want that angry guy. You and 50.1% met with Ramsey. In the Great Hall. So it's that dead even for meeting Ramsey. You know, the 50% people, just a little bit more people met him in the Great Hall while others met him outside, like the dog cur he is. <laughs> yeah, he's dog cur, but, you know, would this guy be the guy that would stab the kid in the heart? I mean, in the throat? Neck, yeah. In front of all those people? Probably not. Certainly, he had more than 20 people that. Those 20 that came in with the White Hills, we certainly had more than 20, even if they had pitchforks and axes, that could have just bludgeoned them to death. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, given this to do again, I would most assure. Well, most people would. And yes. since I, and again, I'm, I, I, if I don't, if I didn't know what I already knew, I may have more or less chosen, you know, doing a more diplomatic route. But this is Game of Thrones. That may not work in the North. King's Landing, maybe. North, maybe not. No, King's Landing. And this Landing. is just episode one. Mm hmm We got, we got, we got uh, five more episodes to go. It wouldn't really work in Game of Thrones, period, King's Landing or otherwise, because they are taking you outside of your humanness. You would not choose these. These are the ones you would choose if you were your human self. Mm hmm But if you're playing this game to win... You clearly have to make different decisions. Hmm. Hey, I'm not going to be a jerk. I'm just going to keep jerks out. <laughs> Everyone gets what they deserve. Is that it? Yeah, yep. that's like it. That's it. Well, thank you guys very much for joining us in the first official episode of our Game of Thrones experience by Telltale Games. Blue, would you like to play the next episode in the nearby future? can't wait and you're going to see a whole different blue don't judge me no you've got to stay focused on your decisions you can't betray them don't judge me okay hey remember that one guy talk about asher the one bloodthirsty violent guy yeah, yeah you'll be able to work on your aggressions with him i'm sure you know <laughs> and it's crazy because here we were they shouldn't have sent tunnel away he could have stopped ramsey snow yes. he would have been all up in his business oh my <laughs> but hey, that was very amusing. Even though I'm not into this world, and it's still a little, it's still a little beyond me. The names, the references, I I gotta look the blue like, huh? like what <laughs> is this a thing? Is that a thing? Ramsey is just such a jerk. Yep, yeah, he is truly. He's a he's a he's a he's a jerk and a kid killer. So yeah, he's an everything killer. He's an everything killer. But uh, I don't want to be a fun killer, but this is where it ends. Yeah. I know, but like I said, stay tuned for the next one because it's coming soon. Much sooner than you think. Yeah. Till then, though, this is the one time the Gamer Boss Bronze. And that you never know how it's going to end. <laughs> Game of Thrones Blue. I know. Telling you to stay tuned for the next Video Gamer Mana Transmission. Till then, though, take care. <laughs>